Alright, so I'm going to go over the basics of exporting as a quick time. I've got this uh, baby walk cycle. Um, it's just a basic walk cycle. And that's hitting control enter. So that exports it as a swift. We're going to export it as a quick time. And just double check the quick time settings. Make sure it's H264. Everything else should be fine. It's going to tell you it's changing the frame rate to match the export. Recording flash content. Compressing the QuickTime movie. And then it tells you it is now complete. So I'm opening the file on a separate monitor um, from a folder. So I have it right here. The nice thing about QuickTime is you can change it so it reads as frame numbers, um, which is great. It's at 121 frames and my file is 120 frames so it added a frame in there but um, that's just due to the export. So um, I've got my flash file exported as a QuickTime. I'll just show you one more time what it exported. You can change the frame number right here. Uh, I hit control F to make it full screen and control L to loop it. It's just under the settings on top but just so you can see it full screen. And it added one frame. It's not a big issue. It's just how it exported from uh, Flash. So I'm just going to do this again. Quick time settings H264. Okay. Compressing. Okay. Tells you that it's complete. Opening it, just taking a second. Change the frame number. And there it is. That's just scrubbing through. But that's uh, all there is to exporting out of Flash as a QuickTime. Just file, export, export movie, and make sure the drop down has a QuickTime and then adjust the settings accordingly. Hope this was helpful.